Speaking of popcorn, I just made myself a bowl. <laughs> you mentioning popcorn made me realize, man, I really want some popcorn. So, I have a big old bowl of popcorn with some white cheddar seasoning dust on it because I'm fancy? <laughs> Question mark. You're getting food brought home to you. Thank God no human interaction needed. I feel that on a spiritual level, Melon. I feel that on a deep, deep spiritual level. Anyway, hello. Oh, man. I'm so tired. <laughs> but man, I want to watch this movie so bad. Oh my god, I didn't even realize you had a... Oh, it's a 1k bit reward of the, the, the creature. The creature. It's a heavy creature. <laughs> but yeah, my brain. La critara. La critara. That creature. The, the autism creature is my beloved. I love that creature. The creature of all time. It lives rent free in my brain. <laughs> it's actually the creature <laughs> that is behind all the controls in my brain and is making me do things on a day to day basis. Fun fact. It's been slacking off recently, though, because, uh, as I said earlier, my brain's been pretty god dang fried. Uh, <laughs> it's been a hecking couple of weeks. Very, 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 very busy at work. Um, trust me, I will work with animals day in, day out, never get tired. It's the people that come in that exhaust me. <laughs> but that's beside the point. We don't have to worry about that today. Because today we're having a movie night. Ooh. Yes, please do share yourself as the autism creature. La critara. La critara. It just occurred to me that maybe making popcorn while streaming might not be the best idea, because you can probably hear me eating the popcorn. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's Markiplier! And he's welcoming us to Five Nights at Freddy's. That emote cracks me up. <laughs> that one and the one that's just the entire Shrek movie. <laughs> Those are so good. Survive some popcorn noises? Alright. If it gets too obnoxious at any point, just let me know and I will like mute the mic when I take bites. All right. Oh wait, you made that one? I didn't even realize you'd made that one. Well, it's very well made. <laughs> it perfectly captures the whole the whole bit. <laughs> what the Why did Is is my stream frozen on anyone else's screen or is that just No, it is frozen. Oh, why is the Mew frozen? What? Some, something's not right there. Some, hold on. That, that can't be right. Peekaboo. I have loop selected. Okay, now it's going. Now it's going. <laughs> what the heck? Oh, that's the, that's the, the pyro one. Yeah, I was checking in the, the Streamlabs chat. There we go. I don't know why it just froze. Hopefully not a portent of difficulties to arrive. There he is! There's the chonker! That's the chonker! I adore the chonker. Chonker, chonker, chonker. Update on the Chonker. He's no longer at our shelter. He actually went to, if you've heard of a cat cafe, where, like, they keep a bunch of cats and people get to sit down and drink coffee and hang out with the cats. He went to a local cat cafe to hang out. And, oh my goodness, he's so happy. <laughs> I miss having him at the shelter, but, man, is he living it up. He, he is legitimately living it up. He's, like, the star of the show there. Everyone is obsessed with him. He's having the best time. And you know what? He's going to find his forever family there. I'm sure of it. <laughs> One that really cares about him and will continue to help him lose weight. I know, I, know, I know he's a chonker at heart and he'll always be a chonker at heart. But he has actually lost a fair bit of weight 
since we first got him. So he's he's doing really well. <laughs> he's he's definitely very happy there. Yeah, he's we get regular updates from them. He's he's doing great there, which I'm very very happy about. <laughs> All right. Well, moving on to the show of today. It is time for a funny film called Emesis Blue. You have the Garfield Show theme song stuck in your head right now. You don't think that would get copyright striked, right? Because this song is also trapped in my head at random moments. There it is. <laughs> Why is it actually so catchy, though? It's legitimately so catchy. I went through a period of time when I was younger where I was, like, very sick with something. Like, I had a bad flu or, or something. Something. I don't remember what it was that I had. But anyway, it, uh, <laughs> it made me sick enough where I was out of school for a long time. And, uh, well, I spent pretty much an entire week just sitting on the couch and watching the Garfield show. <laughs> so that show occupies a very strange place in my brain. You have the Call of Duty startup music stuck in your head as well as the background music with the Stanley Parable. Now the Stanley Parable, that's a game that I desperately need to play on stream someday. That one's on my list. I'll get to it someday. As will I, all the many other numerous games that are on that list. I had, I had the strangest experience of getting like a lot of really random tunes stuck in my head throughout the past week. I think it's because my brain was fried. What were they? There was, first, probably the most excruciating one was the guacamole song on YouTube. If y'all have heard of that, the one that goes guacamole, guac, guacamole. <laughs> Your chair is even more bro- You're like- You're seriously cursed. Your- Your chair is so bro- I think you've got a chair curse. Or just- I think we determined it was a gamer curse, ultimately. <laughs> a part is shattered beyond repair. Rip to that chair. Oh my gosh. It's beyond re chair. <laughs> <laughs> and you literally just got it on Christmas. That's, wow. That's not even like two months with that chair. Rip. You want the narrator to give you a hug and then you want to slap him. <laughs> Based on what I know of the narrator from that game, that sounds about right. Hmm. All right, now I actually also have the the Garfield show song stuck in my head too. <laughs> That's going to drive me a little nuts. You know, one of one of the things I did have stuck in my head aside from the guacamole song it was for some reason, I don't know why, the theme of the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air would not leave my psyche. I've never even seen a full episode of The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, but for some reason my brain said, you're gonna listen to this on repeat now for 24 hours. <laughs> I really don't know why. <laughs> oh, I'm sure there's Garfield 7 TV emotes. There's like 7 TV emotes for everything. Hold on. We can find some. In West Philadelphia, born and raised. Oh my god. Every time. Every time that I'd remember. And it would play in my head, like, even when I wasn't thinking about it. When it was just stuck in my head. I was like, I'd forget that it was there. Even though it would be playing in the background still in my mind. Oh my god, there's a ton there's a ton of Garfield emotes. Oh, there! of course, there's an entire Garfield movie emote. 
That's the entire Garfield movie. <laughs> you have one of those songs that are always stuck in here, but only in the shower. The coconut song. The coconut song. There. <laughs> Where's the... There's a lot of really cursed Garfield emotes. I kind of like, um... I'm gonna, I'm gonna add this one. Can emotes be added in real time on the, on the stream? Let me find out. On the playground is where I spent most of my days. I feel like maybe I have heard the coconut song, I just can't remember. Here it is. Here's here's the one I found. <laughs> it made me laugh more than it should. <laughs> Let me link it real quick. All right. Oh, they need time to update on the text file. Oh, that's why it didn't show up on the screen. <laughs> that's okay. It'll just say big sad for now. Alright. Let's check out the coconut song by the coconut nut. I don't quite recognize this one actually. Maybe I haven't seen it. Smoky Mountain? Oh, goat! Oh, okay, alright. <laughs> Slightly more distant. <laughs> the coconut nut is a giant nut. If you eat too much, you get very fat. Now, the what? coconut nut is a big, big nut, but this delicious nut is not a nut. It's the cocoa fruit. It's the cocoa fruit of the, the cocoa, cocoa tree. Of the cocoa tree. From the cocoa palm family. There are so many uses of the coconut tree. You can build a bigger house for the family. What? All you need is to find the coconut man. If he the coconut the man! He gets the fruits free. It's the cocoa fruit. Of the Who's the coconut, coconut man? Of the tree. From the coconut palm family. You forgot about. I've never heard this one before. Coconut. Oh god, they're speeding up. Mark for the kitchen floor. For the if kitchen you floor. Some of it, you can build a door now. You can build a door. Trunk, do not throw this junk. If you save some of it, you'll have a second floor. The coconut <laughs> wood is very good. It can stand twenty years if you pray it would. Now if the you... coconut <laughs> root to tell you the truth. You can throw it. Or use it as firewood. The coconut leaves good shade it gives for the roof, for the walls up against the eaves. Now, the <laughs> coconut. Was that George? Hold on. Was that George Bush? For the roof, Wait. for the walls up against the eaves. <laughs> That's George Bush. That's George Bush, right? That's. I'm not tripping. My brain's not that fried. That's George Bush, right? Oh, and I just, he's in the bushes. It's George Bush in the bushes. <laughs> what? What is he doing here? Oh, we're all the Coco Man deep in our souls. Even George Bush here. <laughs> Now, the coconut fruit, oh. say my relatives, make good cannonballs up against the tree. It's the cocoa fruit. Cannonballs? It's the cocoa fruit. Of the cocoa tree. Of the cocoa tree. From the cocoa palm family. The coconut nut is the a coconut nut. nut. If you eat too much, you get very fat. Now, the <laughs> coconut <laughs> Poor giraffe. nut is a big, big nut. But this delicious nut is not a nut. The coconut nut is a giant nut. If you eat too much, you get very fat. Now, the coconut nut is a big, big nut. But this delicious nut is not a nut. Eats the cocoa fruit. Yeah, seriously, what is X Prize?
President George Bush doing in the Coconut Song video. From the Coco Palm family. It's the Coco Fruit. It's the Coco Fruit. Of the Coco Tree. Of the Coco Tree. From the Coco Palm family. It's the Coco Fruit. It's the Coco Fruit. Of the Coco Tree. From the Coco Palm family. my gosh well i can see why it gets stuck in your head all the time <laughs> at least specifically in the shower i don't know why in the shower but <laughs> oh my gosh Poggers. ah grapes grapes i love grapes <laughs> right now i only have popcorn to eat though <laughs> you sing it in the shower all the time <laughs> um, that's probably going to get added to the list of various missile. Oh! Bonkers. Oh, thank you for subscribing for six months! But that reminds me, I don't know if, um, I don't know if you saw, saw, haha, <laughs> check out this emote. Look who it is! <laughs> or wait, I don't know if you have 7TV installed, so I don't know if you can see it or not. If you have 7TV installed, you can see it. If you can't, then... Well, you can see it on the screen, kinda. Grapes really are pog. I could... You know... Oh, man, that's actually making me crave grapes now. But all I have is this giant bowl of popcorn. I'll have to make do. <laughs> that is half a year. Yep, it's him! It's Mini Fridge! It's Mini Fridge, aka Wheelbarrow, aka Fat Cat. We have a lot of nicknames for uh <laughs> for Nico. <laughs> I uh, he's been immortalized now as the Chonker. All right, and oh yeah, Big Smoke. That's the other nickname, Big Smoke. He goes by many names. <laughs> All right. Well, we may as well get on to the film because I have been anxiously awaiting watching this film by name of Emesis Blue. You may have heard of it. <laughs> it just came out six days ago. It's literally a feature-length TF2 film. My understanding is that it's kind of... Not, if, it's not, if it's not horror, it's kind of like suspense, sort of? Thriller? I don't really know what you call it. I haven't seen it, so I don't really know how to categorize it exactly. But it's at least a little bit spooky. Just a little bit spooky. Oh my gosh, you've known me for longer as an affiliate than before I was- That's nuts! That is nuts! That's so strange to think about how long I've been affiliate now. That's trippy. Huh. <laughs> Well, we can... Here, actually, what I'll do... What we'll do first? What, what we'll do first? I'll give, I'll give y'all a little, a little preview of, of Emesis Blue with a video uploaded by the channel. Fortress Films is the name of the channel. I'll just... Time is literally so whack. Also, I'm a really big fan of uh, Fortress Films' banner that just said, Would you like to meet a ghost? <laughs> the Fortress Films, you may also know for their famous SFM... Uh, movie Spies Disguise, which is uh, essentially about spy fusing with a sentry and going on a rampage, from what I recall. It's been a hot minute since I've seen it, actually. But let's start with this video called Emesis Diazepam, which is kind of a precursor to it, I guess? It's very analog horror-esque. I have watched this one. But let's, let's, let's give this one a watch. Jules Archibald Foundation. The human mind requires six to eight hours of uninterrupted sleep to fully heal itself. This can be assisted by induced medication. This is true. 
Nemesis diazepam is designed to treat various health conditions such as anxiety, insomnia, and schizophrenia. Take one tablet of Emesis diazepam before going to sleep. This prescription has been- <laughs> Every prescription of Emesis diazepam is personalized! <laughs> if you experience any side effects such as drowsiness, memory loss, visual auditory hallucinations, consult a doctor immediately- Oh! I don't like that in the background! Wait, I don't want to stare. Oh, I guess I have to. Go to sleep now? I can't. I'm streaming right now. I can't do that. Thank you for choosing Emesis Pharmaceuticals. Your health is important to us. Keep in mind, Emesis Pharmaceuticals is not responsible for improper usage or permanent damage. Consume at your own risk. Well, that's comforting. What the heck was that? I didn't even see what that thing fly- Wait, hold on, hold on. No, 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 no. What is that? Oh! Is that Scout's mom? <laughs> Wait! Hold on. Oh my god, it is! I see the hair and the- Oh my god, that's Scout's mom! <laughs> what is he- What is she doing? And then she just goes, Whoop! <laughs> okay, that explains it, I think. I mean, it doesn't explain anything, but at least we know what that is. <laughs> So I do not know off the top of my head if there's any particular content warnings that go along with Emesis Blue other than um, I guess you again could categorize it as a horror film so there's that. Uh, probably gonna have at least some of the typical violence associated with TF2 but other than that I guess just be wary for potentially disturbing horror content. Oh, there might be gore. I'm not sure. Yeah. I'm imagining it probably won't be any worse than you'd see in, like, regular TF2. I'm assuming. I'm assuming so, at least. We'll see. <laughs> I hope you won't have to leave. Yeah. Alright. Hopefully I won't get too spooked because horror films and I only mix sometimes. But this is a full-length TF2 horror film, so I have every reason to be excited for it. Alright. Oh. Yeah, and when I say, like, full-length, feature-length, I mean it. It's literally an hour and 48 minutes long. <laughs> This is straight up a movie. This isn't like just some SF- this isn't just a plain SFM video. This is a straight up a movie. <laughs> oh, that'll work. Yeah. Yeah, you can do that just in case, Melon, if- <laughs> We'll see. We'll see. I'm not sure how disturbing it gets. We'll see. Oh wait, you made memes? I haven't seen- hold up. Hold everything. Oh. <laughs> George Bush in the coconut video. Let me in. Let me in. <laughs> we get to watch a movie with twitch.tv affiliate Pippi Caddy. Orchestral Silent Night begins to play <laughs> from the video. <laughs> there may be some spooks and some scares. Oh. Oh! Hold on, let me also, while I'm here, share the the creature that you made, Melon. I love that. With the little tail. That's adorable. I love that. Yippee! <laughs> Yippee! 
There may be some spooks and some scares. But we will weather them together. <laughs> as best as we can. I will also, I'll do my very best um, to not constantly interrupt the film with commentary. <laughs> but if I get overly excited about something, I may have to pause and ramble. That's just how it goes with me in movies sometimes. That Yippie was made to resemble yourself? Heck yeah. Heck yeah. I should draw a version of myself as the creature. One of these days. Alright, I think the chat's in a good spot for the film. Let me actually... Oh, it will not let me move chat. Chat box does not want to be moved! Or edited midstream. Oh well, it'll just be there. Alright! Without further ado... Let's begin a Mrs. Blue. Yeah, I've been excited about this for like a week. <laughs> okay, okay, let's go. Oh, hold on. One other thing. I hate to interrupt again. If the volume is too loud or too quiet at any point, just let me know as always. Okay, there we go. Eek. Oh, that's their logo. Okay, I was like, what? <laughs> The respawn machine? It's a turn in the middle. Oh, so this is the test about the respawn machine. Oh! They're okay. Interesting opening scene. I'm already deeply invested. Thursday? No, it's Monday. Oh, of course it's on Halloween. I just need to pause for one second because that just that like first that first couple minutes that's freaking amazing cinematography holy cow what the heck <laughs> oh my god oh my god I'm actually blown away that shot with the guy at the end of the tunnel and the water draining, that w oh my god! I'm 
Chuck. Okay, let's go. Let's go ahead. Let's keep going. I don't want it. I want. I want to see more of what Scout got to say here. Oh, mood medic. Medic is such a mood right now. Yeah, two hours long. I know it's late, but mind if I ask you something? Do you ever have bad dreams? <sighs> Jules out. Oh, Jules Archibald, that's the guy! So tell me about it. Well, I was in the bathroom, right? And as I was brushing my teeth, all my teeth started to fall out. There was blood all over the basin. It was horrible. Are you worried about something? Yeah, actually. You ever get the feeling like you're being watched? <laughs> what do you mean? When I went to bed last night, I could swear there was someone standing outside my window. Oh, don't be ridiculous. Someone was just passing by. Doc, I was on the second floor. Uh, have hey, you spoken to your mother you? about this? She says it's all in my head. <sighs> well, there's nothing wrong with your teeth. Here, take one of these tonight. This should help. Yeah. Come on, Doc. I don't need this stuff. I think you do, Scout. This doesn't seem normal. You sound like my mother. Yeah. Help me out here. She must be thrilled you're moving back in with her. After being laid off? Are you kidding me? I'm gonna sue the hell out of Blue for what they did to me. Well, you wouldn't be the first. Doc, if they ever hit you with something, you hit back twice as hard, you hear me? Well, it's getting late. Come on, I'll give you a ride. Jeez, you got a whole video store in there. Medic's an analog horror fan. Who uh, could have done that? I uh, forget about it. Come on, before it gets dark. Scout? Ah! Uh, thief! Theft! <laughs> You're gonna sob you don't do horror well? I don't do horror very well either. <laughs> So we're gonna have to weather this somehow. But I'm, I'm, ah! I'm gonna have to stop myself from pausing every two minutes because this is fully voice acted, fully freaking beautifully animated and lit and. No, I'm just obsessed with this already. Oh my god. <laughs> I think we might be watching a a masterpiece here, <laughs> folks. If you hadn't played FNAF, you'd probably <laughs> Yeah, FNAF is... And I don't know if this particular movie has any jump scares in it. I guess we'll find out. If they do, I will be yelling. This building's haunted. I hope it's not jump scares. Chapter one. We got chapters! Graveyard shift. Soldier. That's bad for your lungs. Don't do that. <laughs> He's here. I need my... What the hell are you doing? It's fine. Give me that before you hurt yourself. You told me to keep a lookout. I told you to wait in the car. Look, what if it's an ambush? He's alone. He shouldn't take long. That Rusky's twice your size. I just need to make him talk. What if he doesn't? Just keep an eye out for the police. You're gonna have to switch to your own chair because this is so crooked. Builders League. 
You look lost, comrade, and that suit doesn't fit you. I did not ask for your opinion. So tell me the facts. Who's the handoff? Who's your new employer? I don't know what you're talking about. Who kidnapped Archibald? Was it you? You know the price of betrayal, friend. They'll throw you up against the wall for this. What's on the briefcase? It does not concern you. Hand it over. You want my briefcase? Oh. This is 189 reporting a fight with three to the cemetery. The vehicle in question is a black hearse. 109, say again. A, a black hearse. 104, that is correct. 189, is this a joke? You're still a freaking hearse at this hour. <laughs> Oh, you think that's funny, 189? That wasn't me. Oh, crap. Who the hell is that? <laughs> Spy, you might be an open head. Right? Oh, you actually watched it earlier and you'll just say it's cool. I'm loving it so far, Spuddy Boyo. I'm absolutely obsessed with it. Oh my god, the cinematography is so good! I believe it's three plus years in the making. Hey, Stalingrad! Eat this! <gasps> well... You're welcome, you idiot. He was our only lead, and now he's dead. Oh, so you were just talking? <sighs> we have to get out of here. What about the body? I left my camera in the car. Fetch it for me. Now. I don't think I'm gonna save your skinny ass again, Craig. <laughs> I love the sassiness of soldier. Oh my god! They killed Heavy! The Heavy is dead. It's a briefcase! Gotta take a photo for your cringe compilation! <laughs> Chapter 2. Dinner's ready! Oh, is it? Yay! I'm hungry. Hey, Doc. Yes? What did you mean when you said, I'm not the first? You talking about the accident? Uh, there have been others. You telling me that this has happened before? Doc, what is wrong with the respawn machine? Uh, it doesn't always work like it's supposed to. Some get stuck inside trying to come through. What the hell are you talking about, Doc? Uh, I've only seen it happen once. On the front lines, he came through screaming horribly. When I ran out to see what happened, I... I... What did you see, Doc? You don't want to know. Time, Thanks chat. for the ride, Doc. You sure you don't want to come in? At least say hi to Ma? Tell her I did, Scout. I have to get back to the office. You really gotta get out more often, Doc. Catch you later, alright? I'll see you soon. Dinner for Chad is Cheez-Its. Oh, yeah, the other hey, one Ma. on their channel is Spies Mom. Disguise. Where I recommend that you one, been? too. It's pretty You're good. So just get the checkup, Ma. I'm fine. Well, Scouts made it home at least. Oh, was that dinner? So, how was the doctor here? Fine. Did you ask him to stop by? Tried. I feel bad for the guy. What's the matter with him? I'm sorry, hold I, on, hold on. I bad for the guy. I am ashamed to admit that I misread this as he'll make Minecraft out of you. <laughs> God. My brain rot is so 
bad. It's so bad. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, he will make Minecraft out of you, apparently. <laughs> he loves his ball. He loves his ball. Having the car as a black hearse is so good since it's the car used in Funer. Yeah! That's good! The symbolism! Boo! Boo! I'm a sucker for symbolism and stuff in films and cinematography. I'm a sucker for that, and this has so much of that already. Mm. This is the kind of thing I want to go back and like overanalyze, like way. Dune. Wait, what about Dune? Dune buggy, my beloved. My beloved dune buggy, puppy? Oh, because we- Oh, because we used to call him Scout, that's right. I think I mentioned it on stream before, we had a dog at the shelter named Dune, he got adopted a little while ago, and he was like Scout as a dog. He was like Scout as a dog, literally, and we would imagine him talking in Scout's voice, because he literally was- He was literally Scout as a dog. And we go, my ball! I love my ball, because he was obsessed with tennis balls. Those two are inextricably linked in my mind now. <laughs> Doom buggy. Oh, the guy at the start was the day of defeat model. That's a good, that's cool. Oh. Yeah, every time I hear Scout's voice, I'm just like, that's what Dune sounds like. <laughs> Alright, anyways. He'll make Minecraft out of you. I think he's on something. Gotta drink that bong. Oh, that's ominous. Dinner's ready here. Okay, hang on. Hello? Thanks for the ride, Doc. You sure you don't want to come in? At least say hi to Ma? Oh, what did you... Who is this? You really gotta get out more often, Doc. What? What the hell is this? Who are you? Hey, Ma! I'm home! What the heck? Oh, that's a beautiful shot. Oh. <gasps> oh my god, that's the thing that we saw. Oh! Ah! No! No, 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 no! <laughs> no, 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 no. So that explains what we saw in the preview video. Oh my god. <laughs> nope. Ho <laughs> ho! Mm-mm. Hmm. <laughs> also, can I just say, love the fact that the guy on the TV said that's a nice ball while Scout's throwing the baseball back and forth. <laughs> oh no, you'd rather die? You refuse, personally? I don't blame you. <laughs> I'd die on the spot if that happened to me. That is not a- you're gonna wake up with a really sore neck by the way like that, just saying. <laughs> you wanna go home? This is home. <laughs> Medic is very clearly not okay. I mean, more than usual, and I'm concerned about him. Hello? Chessboard's fallen. Oh, this isn't gonna be good. Oh. M. Markiplier. Milk? Oh! 
That's gonna hurt. So the handout was an undertaker? Almost. What could be in that briefcase? Money, gold, diamonds? I don't think this is about money. Is it a bomb? If it was, he wouldn't take me over the head with one. What if it's Archibald's severed head? Enough, soldier. <laughs> if we don't find out where he is, they'll have all our heads. What the hell do you think you're doing? I think I know who to ask. Soldier that only receives, it doesn't transmit. Brigger, Brigger, this is 185. Gonna need an update on that stolen hearse. Roger, 185. This is 187. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm sorry, Spice Face. I'm sorry, his face when it actually works. Hold on. I need an update on that stolen hearse. Roger, 185. <laughs> Look at that face! Why is that so funny to me? <laughs> I don't know why that's so funny to me. That needs to be... I mean, that is a reaction gif. Uh, sorry, that just cracked me up for no reason. Okay. This is 187. I have visual on a black hearse heading south on Brixton. 10 4. Tail it! He's pulling up on Purgatory Avenue. I'm gonna intercept. So just. Sir, I'm gonna need you to roll down your window. I can't see your face. What street was that? Purgatory. Of course it's Purgatory! Oh my god! Oh. Spy with the plan works. Yeah, that'd be a pretty horrifying nightmare to wake up. Oh. Medic, what did you do? Can't see anything. Get it. We got it all units called downtown. Some night, huh? Medic, what did you do? <laughs> Partook in some insane medic gaming for sure. Oh, don't like that. Hello? Hey, Doc. Oh, thank God, Scout. Are you alright? I know it's late, but mind if I ask you something? What? Scout, where are you? You ever get the feeling like you're being... <gasps> Del Conniger, the engineer. Chapter three. Intel. That's a great name, Intel. Rocket flyer. I've been working downtown for over thirty years now. I ain't never seen nothing this bad. You're a dead. Hey, don't worry about it. We'll get you patched up in no time. And nobody comes in here except paramedics. You hear me? And somebody get these clowns off my crime scene. I don't need it's this right now. The last time we are federal agents. I am Detective Mannix. This is Lieutenant Colombo. We are looking for a very dangerous criminal. <laughs> Colombo. Will somebody run a background check on these bozos? There ain't no way they're FBI. Is this him? I want to talk to him. No, you ain't talking to him. You. Oh. 
Hold up, hold on, hold on. I gotta slow down and read this. To whom this may concern, due to the recent investigation of the events of October 24th, 1968, the Board of Executives have made the decision to terminate your employment with Builders League United Incorporation. In accordance with Article 13, Section B54 of your contract, you may not be entitled to compensation as the Board cannot be held responsible for any injuries or loss of life. Respawn units carry a 99% success rate and insurance does not cover the 1% chance of malfunction. Not... Having even a 1% chance of malfunction is really not great. I wouldn't trust that. Tell me exactly what happened. He had to be on drugs or something. I tried to bring him down, but he kept coming at me. It was like a nightmare. Oh, hold up, hold up. Before, upon respawn, person to the Jeremy E. was found unconscious and convulsing from apparent seizures. Post-recovery patient showed signs of reduced speech, inability to perform simple tasks, and symptoms of relating to schizophrenia. Patient was dismissed under oh, the legal guardian, his mom. Oh, lord. Yeah, the poor bastard got his own sidearm in the gut. Chief, they just found 187's body stuffed inside a dumpster. Jesus Christ. Ah, I'm you here. How did he escape? What was he driving? Look, I think you've asked enough questions here, pal. Ambulance! See, look, he needs a doctor, so why don't you just... No, he was driving a goddamn ambulance. All right, everyone step outside. So many people in there, for Christ's sake. Soldier. Get in the car. Oh, no. Medic did it, didn't he? How? Bathroom. Storm's cut the power. Mirrors shattered. There's blood all over the sink. Christ. Must have been a bite or something. Ah! <laughs> My God. It's his latest victim. <laughs> it's a model, you idiot. Good. That was good. <laughs> the fact that your horror thoughts are occasionally broken up by, hey, that's two for it. It's funny to me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just random bits of TF2 information in the middle of all the horror. Oh my god. This is worse than I thought. You know, it made me think a bunch of this stuff. Said I was seeing things. And did the mitigation work? I don't know. I never took any of it. Right. And their personalities are super well preserved. I no, love don't. that too. Oh. Hello? Hello? Who is this? Who am I? Who the hell are you? Who is this? What? It's him. Listen to me, punk. You're not gonna think this is funny when I strangle you to death with your own stethoscope. Who is this? It's the voice of God, you son of a bitch, and <laughs> I'm coming for you! It's a great line. <laughs> <laughs>
Oh! He needs that. been here too Alive at least. <laughs> uh, wait, Scout! I'm trying to help you! If I had a gun, I'd shoot you, you sick bastard! No! Stop! Oh! This is genuinely quite terrifying. <laughs> Oh, well. There's Engineer. And he's been shot by a sentry. Oh, poor Scout. He looked lost, boy. Earth they made engineer terrified. How do you prove that you were the one who chained out that coffin? Indeed I did, brother. Without the specification. Oh. So how do you get out? <laughs> Dumbass. We'll go on then. Say something. <laughs> well, we'll let you out. I'm glad they did, because I like company. Oh, poor Scout! Scout has really been through it today. You're right, Mel. Oh, is he of all the fun? Oh my god! This is so intense! Check the ambulance. No, oh, they can't get there because the bridge is broken. I just remember. Nothing! We need to call for backup. 
I got it right here. You've had that thing in my car this whole time. For emergencies. <laughs> Just what do you plan to do with it? Rocket jump! Rocket I'm gonna use jump. it to jump across this ravine. You really have lost your mind, haven't you? What? I've done it before. Put that down before you get us killed. Get down! Oh my god. It has not felt like over an hour has passed. And it's only 30 minutes into the movie! <laughs> yeah, Soldier is amazing. Soldier is great in this. Oh my god. That is, that is great. The going between the whole... For emergencies, he just stored the rocket launcher in his trunk to a professionally tackling spy to get out of the way of incoming bullets. Oh, that's so cool. I'm in love with this. I'm absolutely obsessed with this. This is so good! <laughs> no, 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 no! Ah! Whoa! One eye red, one eye blue? What does it mean? Yeah, Soldier is such a good comedic relief character. He's fantastic. The voice acting's really well done in this, too. Hey, Dell, you haven't called me in a while. How's Dust Bowl working out, brother? Dust Bowl is gone. Gone? You heard me. There's nothing left of it. Well. We're still trying to figure that out. It doesn't look good. Well, what about my little brother? Is he all right? Listen, I'm coming up to Slaughterhouse now. Should we catch the kill? Sure. I swear to God, if anything happens to my brother, I'm gonna... Shut up and listen to me. Forget the death subject. I think we've been compromised. You're so goddamn inconsiderate. Shut up! Can you get out? Yeah, who knows how? More you move, the more it's gonna hurt. Look, when are you gonna be back? We shouldn't have to deal with this. Don't let the brain test on your side. And what about my brother? <laughs> yeah, literally any SFM soldier will still be funny. It doesn't even matter. Oh, he got the Wrangler! Shoot! Medic needed that! Fight scene! My God. Well, okay, I guess. Oh, oh. <sighs> medic down, but medic up again, I guess. Oh my gosh. 
Gloves are coming off. He's not messing around. Terrifying! Dang, he wasn't messing around! And... Into this well, rip, dude. <laughs> Medic seems to have lost it a little bit. I mean, more than usual. What the hell's going on in there? Yeah, that I was asked legit. You a question, not what dumb I was ass. expecting. I said, "What the hell are you?" Oh. Now that ain't a toy, son. Put it down. Now. Now don't do nothing stupid, boy. You got no idea who you're dealing with. Well. <laughs> Oh, he's not dead yet. Oh, it got you. <laughs> oh, demon laughing. <laughs> Did they actually show the blown off head? I didn't even see it. Okay, chapter four, here we go. <laughs> Crossroads, this is so intense. Jesus. I am never going to find out you're bald in this excrement. Back in the war, we would spend weeks stuck in wet dugouts like this, with water up to your ankles. They were built only six feet wide, but they could go on for miles. Kill me now. <laughs> I love their interactions. You have no comprehension of what you're getting into. I have a pretty damn good idea. We should have called for backup. And what the hell do you think I'm doing? I just saved you from a bullet to the head. And who was it that told them we were coming, hmm? Who's been killing our leads and getting the police involved? You have compromised this entire operation. What about all those pictures? That's evidence we can use, right? They were in the car, you idiot. Now I have nothing because of you, you stupid bastard, you amateur. Mean to him. I hope you can swim because you're going right back out the way you came. You're gonna shoot me? We're done. I don't care what wretched battalion you think you come from. You are not coming with me. You shot one of your own before? Get out of my way. Archibald teach you that? You know, you're right. This may be better than 99% of any movie I've ever seen. And this is available for free on YouTube! <laughs> I'm just, I'm, so, oh my god, this is so good. I can't, I just keep saying it's so good, but it is. I mean, I, I can't. Ah, oh, I'm obsessed with this. Okay. Jesus. Oh. <gasps> Sniper. You better drop that rifle before I come over there and put my foot up your. Who the hell is out there? Looks like Ray Charles traded the piano for an M40. What? I've got an idea. It must have taken. I think someone earlier said it took him at least. What a are you, blind? Come on, right here. Take your mess. Uh. Oh. I think I didn't 
come prepared. How did you know he wouldn't shoot you in the head? I didn't. <laughs> well, rip sniper. Or at least sniper's leg. Let's finish him off right here and now. Let him bleed. That's cruel. Um, is he okay? Hey guys, I don't think Sniper's okay. Straight up brutal. Huh, huh, huh. Don't like that. Cyclops, so tell me what you've seen. <laughs> I don't have time for this. Wait, you gonna get me out of here? Why the hell should I? How 
on Earth. <laughs> oh, and there's the creature. There's the creature. I'm impressed with the level of psychological horror that they're pumping into this, too. I'm very impressed with that. <laughs> oh my god. The way they show, like, the different mindscapes and what they're going through. Yeah, it does kind of look like a Nymphomorph. <laughs> no, I think not. I was told this was a thriller. This is feeling less thriller by the minute, Pippi. Now listen. I said it was possibly some kind of horror thriller something or other along those lines. <laughs> Trust me, I'm just as spooked as you. Oi. Oh, demo! You're gonna finish that? This is what Soldier was seeing earlier. He was seeing himself, wasn't hey. he? I'm looking for Jules Archibald. Who's asking? His rescue. Afraid you're gonna be disappointed. I want to know what the hell is going on here. I don't know. That's probably this meat by now. I've already lost one man. I'm not gonna lose another. Then you're a dead man. Oh, you haven't lost both eyes yet, Cyclops. So tell me what you've seen. Gonaga brothers. They run the joint, but this is red territory. Not anymore. Who's the guy you were just talking to? What guy? <laughs> oh! I don't have time for this. Wait. You gotta get me out of here. Why the hell should I? There's a whole stash of guns locked in a keep upstairs. I can get you in. And he gets it by the crowbar. You're right, the prophecy is true. Blue soldier and red demo. Oh, and now the creature's actually going after him. Oh my god! the other thing from that before you grab it, soldier. Zombies. I knew it! Demo Man with a Glock. I think Demo Man should get to have a little Glock. That's a treat. Yep, those are straight up zombies! Hmm. 
Oh god, that's gross. I've ever seen such a good application for voodoo cursed soul models. Like that is perfect. Well, now how are you gonna Oh okay. I was about to be like, how are they gonna get out of there? They're gonna die of smoke inhalation. You get it. We're trapped. He's trying to kill us. Okay, buddy. I don't think he's doing okay. The, the, oh, I can never remember the name of the cosmetic where it's the evil half. The evil half. Medic is straight up not live, laugh, loving. Not in these conditions. I think Medic should be allowed to live, laugh, love a little as a treat. But I don't think he's going to be able to do that here. <laughs> Patient appears to have died from a bullet to the heart. Normally, we have papers signed before doing these things, but, uh, uh, no matter. <laughs> the hell with Helix, the old fools. They don't deserve this. My god! No! Uh oh! Oh, that mask. Oh, he's massive. <laughs> oh. Yeah, that is straight up a certified big boy. <laughs> now that you're thinking about it, it's absolutely really ridiculous that almost nobody has used the TF horror. Yeah! For actual horror stuff? I don't really know of um, a whole lot of legit like TF2 horror content in general. But it's definitely being put to use here. <laughs> and very, very well. This is so incredible. I'm like... I'm just- I'm just in awe. I'm just in awe! <laughs> I've been gobbling my popcorn, like, I- 
Mm. This is so quickly shot near like the top of my favorite movies of all time list. Shenanigans ensue? Maybe? <laughs> no, they're all just sad. <laughs> oh, poor medic! <laughs> medic deserves a hug. Poor guy. I know he's covered in blood, I don't care. Someone give him a hug. Oh. Oh, okay. He seems feeling better now. I... Okay, maybe the hugs gave him too much power. That's too much. It's gone to his head. His hubris. Does this count as medic live, laugh, loving now? <laughs> Chapter five. The doorway. Corporal, come over here. You wanted a promotion? Here it is. What's the charge? Treason. Backstory? What's it going to take, Corporal? I want a new car. <laughs> Anything else? This guy has his priorities in order, I guess. My own personal assistant. Anything you like, Corporal. How about a vacation, old boy? I think I've earned it. God dang. No, yeah, Medic was literally going between crying, crazy laughing, and crying again. <laughs> it is Citizen from TF2 Classic. <sighs> oh, they took the mask off! I can't believe they kept him alive! Well, thank goodness for that! I was freaking sad about Spy! Uh, you think you can get away with this? Uh, build this league and destroy you for what you've done! Uh, don't you get it, you mute freak? 
I'm a protected man! What do you want? <laughs> can we have a meme break since we're halfway done? I feel ya. Hold on, we can have an intermission because we're all close to halfway through. We can have a meme break. We can have an intermission. Chapter 5 seems like a solid place. <laughs> the difference for you with this based on other TF2 films is that the thought, Hey, that's me! has a whole other vibe to it. 100%. Oh my god, wait, I see You've got a bunch of memes. Hold on. Hold on. I have to... <laughs> Wee woo, wee woo, wee woo, wee woo, wee woo. <laughs> That's been me at several points in this film. Minecraft funny mo- <laughs> Minecraft funny moments. Pippi, are you doing okay, medic? Medic showing clear symptoms of psychosis or schizophrenia. That's literally it! That's literally it right there! <laughs> That's it! That's literally how it is right now! <laughs> Complete with all the stuff being strewn all over the floor. Also, I appreciate that it's just a posing medic. <laughs> Pippi says it's movie night. We start watching the movie. Everyone is either dead or having a psychotic break! <laughs> That's the movie! That's the movie so far! <laughs> oh my god, excellent memes. I- hold on. I know, I know what we can do to take just a momentary break. Just a momentary break to- to lighten the mood. Yeah. Nope. Okay, here we go. I'm sure some of y'all have already seen this video, but in case anyone hasn't, um... Actually, this is a pretty- you know what, this is a pretty good- I'll- I'll say this! This video I'm about to show you is a great example of the broad spectrum of TF2 content. You've got the movie that we're watching right now, and then you have... Heavy is Dead. <laughs> also, please download it and horribly edit it for a YTP, I would love that. It is good day to be not, not dead. dead. You are oh, dead. dead. I'm dead. <laughs> the heavy is dead. Yes, I am dead. Why is the heavy is dead? I don't know. I think it was. You are dead. dead. Okay. What's up, you wankers? Who's up for it? Ah, what the hell just happened? The, the heavy is dead. dead. The heavy is dead. Correct. Correct. So, did you see the murderer? No, sorry mate. I will find him. I will capture him. And no one will ever die again. Ah, that's nice. Dang. Proud of Attention! The heavy is dead! We know. Who killed him? We don't, don't know. I will find clues! What's that? A weapon? That thing is why that heavy is dead! The, the heavy, heavy is, is dead? dead? Yes! He died! <laughs> oh. Here comes medic. Oh, oh. Oh, no. <laughs> In my medical opinion, that heavy is dead. Doc, what happened? My professional opinion? The heavy was killed. Oh God, we well, don't think it's anything to worry about. Well, now what? Oh come on! Oh, look at this. The freaking heavy's dead. What do you think of that? Um, yes, yes, scouts. Yeah. Go home. Ah, oh, come on! Freaking unbelievable. Hold, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. How long has there been an Obama pyramid with a cowboy hat in the background? <laughs> How long has that been in this video and I haven't noticed? <laughs> I've watched this video like. 50 million times and I've never noticed the Obama cowboy hat pyramid. What? Anyway, uh, back to your regularly scheduled programming. 
Ah, come on! Friggin' unbelievable. No, seriously, false so Okay, let's get back to the point. I think Henny is dead. Henny is, is dead? dead? Oh, I'm in Oh, shit, he is me! Who killed Heavy? <laughs> it was me! Oh. Yes! I did it like this! What did you do? That's the joke, lads. <laughs> it was... M. Oh. How did you know? I didn't. <laughs> that was a joke. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <I'm dead. laughs> That's right. It was me, you monster. But Because you're fat, boy. And another thing, you're ugly. Engineer, oh, you're ugly. Engineer, you are so big. He got fun. Engineer! Oh, damn it, heavy! Fuck off! You are dead. No! You are! No, you. you are dead! No big surprise! Well, that was idiotic. Off to hang myself. Off and left! <laughs> I am alive! He's nice. Yes, this is stupid. <laughs> I'm. This is very, very. That's the best way to describe Heavy is Dead. It's a masterpiece. <laughs> it's a masterpiece. This, Heavy is Dead and Emesis Blue are both masterpieces on completely opposite ends of the spectrum when it comes to <laughs> movies. <laughs> it's the most ever. If I could if I could only watch one more video, like if I was only allowed if I was only if I had to pick one video and that was the only video I was allowed to watch for the rest of time, I'd pick Heavy is Dead. <laughs> Hands down. One hundred percent would pick Heavy is Dead. <laughs> the dead heavy purgatory. Anyway, yeah, that shows you some of the scope that TF2 content can be. <laughs> Are we ready to go back to Emesis Blue yet, or do we... Actually, you know what? I'm gonna take a bathroom break while I'm on intermission. While I'm thinking about that. Let me just get some music going for you, and I will be back in just a little bit. Let's listen to... Uh, I'll start. Here. Oh, you're a hundred percent right. We do need to watch some St. Black Street videos. Is Street Black, ST Black, St. Black Saint, Street Black Saint, Street Black Street, I don't know. <laughs> but you're so right, because there are some amazing classics in there, hands down. All right, I'll be RB. Take a bathroom break if you need.
Okay, here we go. Hold on. Here's something to lighten the mood. Shout out to fellow streamer by the name of Varg Skeletor. Oh, you have you have a good vid we can watch? Share. If it's Rickroll. Wait, is that the Rickroll key? Is that the Rickroll URL? I feel like it starts with a Q and that one has a D in the front. Let me. I. <laughs> I called it, but I still clicked on it. I. <laughs> See, my. <laughs> I remembered that the URL had a Q near the start, and I saw the Q, but I thought, oh, the Q's in the first place, right? But there's a lowercase d in the first spot, so I thought I was safe. <laughs> I was not safe. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hold on. That one, I guess that one was a draw. That's, I think that's fair. We can call that a draw. Okay. Here. This one will, this one will get some laughs, at least. This will be another lighthearted one. Some of y'all might know streaming streamer by the name of Vine Sauce, and part of that community is someone named Joel, aka Varg Skeletor. And somewhere in the middle of one of his streams, he started trying to sing Nickelback's photograph. Oh, you have an actual! Oh, okay, okay, hold on. Let me open that one up so it's in the queue. If this is Well, I walked right into that one. You do win that one. That's fair. You win that one. You, you win. You got me. You together forevered me. <laughs> okay. Well, anyway, that song Photograph by Nickelback, the one that goes, Look at this photograph! You know that one? There's a thing where he tries to sing it on stream. And, uh... Well, you have you have to see it to... You have to really see it to... You'll see what I mean. I don't know if anyone here has already seen this or not, but here you go. The mini version of this song.
smack nougat nut. <laughs> Alright, I don't want to get copyright strikes by playing the actual song, but- Wait, you know that? Skooladillin? School? I, I can't pronounce it. <laughs> you know that. Wait, like, from, or is it an actual thing? You've seen it somewhere. Hmm. I wonder if that's where he got it. <laughs> got it from. Oh, he's not actually saying yeah. It may have, you may have heard a clip of it from somewhere. Or at least like heard the the bit where you can't even get it. School Linda <laughs> That one. I think about that one a lot. <laughs> Separate his vocals and put it over a nickelback midi. You totally could. You totally could. <laughs> anyway, I think about that video a lot. <laughs> oh! I totally, I totally should. I should make that one of the things I can... I can have on video redeems because it's classic. <laughs> there's 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 so so many videos that I could put in for video redeems. I don't even know how I can narrow it down. <sighs> Would you date this girl if she was real and confessed her feelings to you? Does she know how to make a grilled cheese? Oh, your hero must now- the hero must now travel. The tale will begin again after a short ad break. I'm obsessed with that video. <laughs> Does she know how to make a grilled cheese? Voice actor for Travis from APH Mao, and you think that's or AFMA? I actually don't know how it's pronounced. I know what you're talking about, though. Oh my God, I I'm sorry. I I just clicked back to my YouTube homepage, and this was under my recommended. What on actual earth? Let me let me put this on screen real quick. I know there's gotta be a logical explanation for this, but let me just get it up here real quick. Uh, what the heck is this? What do you mean? What? <laughs> That's not- <laughs> Neither of those are applicable to the- <laughs> And also just Mr. Crab. <laughs> like I'd think, oh, Mr. Crab's like from Spongebob. No, it just says Mr. Crab. 
What? <laughs> what on earth? I'm haunted. I'm so incredibly haunted by that. How? <laughs> That's cursed. I don't know. I might. I mean, hey, I'll give him credit. That is, that is definitely a, uh, a thumbnail that grabs my attention. <laughs> what is that thumbnail? That's what we're trying to figure out. I just opened my YouTube like recommended front front page and that was one of the things I have so many questions I mean I guess I have to watch the video at some point now because I need to know what that <laughs> I mean it's some kind of some kind of poor translation somehow I mean, honestly, <laughs> the uh, I've seen how badly Google Translate can translate some stuff. So I would actually not be surprised if somehow it got translated to that. Good lord. Okay. I think that got me laughing enough. I think I'm ready to continue at Mrs. Blue now. Oh my god. What a... <laughs> what a, a tone shift here. <laughs> we gotta see what happens to poor Spy. Poor guy. <laughs> I'm amazed that he's still alive. I thought for sure this creepy pyro would have killed him, but... Alright. Let's see what happens. <sighs> oh. Oh. Um. I barely caught a glimpse of that face, but I do not like it. Oh! in a heck of a moment to come back to. Good lord, okay. That burnt face thing with the pyro is even more messed up when you realize the face of the corpse model in Half-Life is based on a real burnt face used in a textbook. Holy moly. <laughs> yeah, just no. <laughs> just no. <laughs> oh my god, that's terrifying. <laughs> I like that medics just kind of wordlessly ganged up with these two. I don't believe it. On your feet, Cyclops! Uh, I think I lost my piece. Can we go Can't back? Can't go to back for it now. Begging. <laughs> you don't work for the Conigers, do you? I killed the Conigers. <laughs> Who gave you that order? They tried to kill me. Is that enough? That doesn't belong to you. I can explain. I can't see a bloody thing! Don't move. God, the music in this is so good, too. He's gotta be a sleeper agent. I know their type. I saw the devil in their eyes, man. Ooh. How far down are we? You hear that? <laughs> oh. Mr. Archibald? Is that him? Oh. oh, thank God! A rescue! 
You have to get me out of here before I contract something. Are you injured, sir? I'm about to have a heart attack. Now, are you going to stand there, or can you unlock this bloody door? <laughs> You're right where you belong, you fat crooked bastard. Smart bloody leper, aren't you? Soldier, why are you dragging this corpse around? Uh, this man called me? He's been handy, <laughs> sir. He's got none left. Are you conspiring with the enemy, soldier? I'm just trying to help, sir. Then stop wasting my time. It's a great combination of cheese and spoil. <laughs> God, someone's unscrewing something. Oh, never mind, it's just a squeaky wheelchair. But how did it move? Yeah. Oh, medic! <laughs> You want me to do it, don't you? But I won't. You can't make me. You can't make me! Oh! Oh, I didn't even think about it sounding like that. Any kind of squeaky sound sets me on edge. Oh. What? Mr. Archibald? Oh. Cyclops? Oh, cinematography, baby! Oh, I just realized what I'm looking at. Ah. Demo, it's not a bar, it's a laboratory. Oh! Hello, Bill. Long night, eh? Longer than you think. His eyes. Care for a drink? Love one. Oh my gosh. I thought you were miles away, lad. Where you been hiding? Who says I've been hiding? Your oh. brothers thought you were dead. It is like the shining. <laughs> A relapse is a hell of a thing, ain't it? Dude. Okay, I just want to point out, I absolutely love the fact that he's, for some reason, his other eye is, like, here, but it's, like, green. Like, same way when he, like, with the, the haunted eye socket, it, it glows green when he gets enough heads on the Eyelander. That's such a good detail. Oh my god, it's even just these little attention, the little bits and pieces of the attention to detail for this, just absolutely astound me. Oh my gosh. It is KFC Engineer! You're right, it is! You have to dip for a bit, you'll try to join again in a bit. No worries, Melon. No worries. But yeah, see, it's green. That's so cool. It's just these little details! Oh my god. I will never stop raving about how amazing this movie is! A relapse is a hell of a thing, ain't it? Too right. figured out how to bring us back. Some of us would tell stories about what we saw on the other side. We saw old friends, family, mostly strangers. I spoke to my grandfather. He's been dead for 30 years. What'd he tell you? It's eternity in there. existential horror with the respawn system and all that. Um. You okay, medic? I keep asking if he's okay. He's not. I know he's not. <laughs> I just keep asking.
see how respawn works? Straight up is a text jump scare. Oh, oh, there's Scout's mom. Oh, Lord. Blue talk, blue talk. Can you hear me? Lower your voice, blue talk. I can hear you just fine. Am I coming through clear? No, Blue Talk, this is a telephone call, much faster than air mail. Blue Talk, we... What do you mean, who is this? It's Jules Archibald. We last spoke in Dallas, and you know what? Remember? Yes, I'm calling about the project we discussed. No, not the pregnancy machine, the other one. <laughs> Okay, sorry. <laughs> uh, the what machine? <laughs> oh, that's actually a reference to one of the comics, isn't it? Where straight up they were, I believe they said they were going to try to make, find a, the, when the Man Brothers, I remember this, the Man Brothers, they realized, oh, crap, we're the last of our lineage and we didn't bother to have any kids so there's no one to uphold the man name so like we have to make a machine or a device that somehow gets us pregnant I specifically remember that in one of the comics and then that's right before Grey Man comes in and kills them both but out of context for a second that line took me out <laughs> imagine how goofy this would have been if they'd used sentence mixing instead of voice acting yeah it wouldn't have hit as it would have hit way different I think the voice acting was definitely a must for this it's so well done. Ah! Oh. <laughs> but that's a nice that's a nice little nod to the comics there. I like I like that. Yes, there's been a slight hiccup, so to speak. The respawn machine works. It technically works. Blue Talk, however... Uh, no. You see, that's the problem. They say we've lost about 90% of the test subjects. What? I, I know you're upset, Blue Talk, but the good news is we found about 10 of them that are respawn compatible. Uh, hold on a moment. What the hell is going on? He shot himself? Oh, bloody hell. Just throw him in the pit with the others. Oh. Excuse me, Nine Blue Talk. <gasps> you promised me an army, Archibald. Well, it's think of the nine. money you'll save. Mercenaries are very cheap these days. With a respawn machine on every front line, there will be no worry. You'll surely win this war by the end of the financial year. That's not allow a respawn gap. The respawn gap? You must be joking. Blue Talk, I, I really must be going now. Hey, listen, would you be interested in a new heart, liver, or spleen? We have about 800,000 corpses on site, and we're not really sure what to do with them. Oh, I'll take one of each. I see. What I'll put it on the bill. Uh, Ta-ta, Blue Talk. Redmond, Charles Archibald, I have a proposition for you. Sauce. Oh my gosh, yeah, he left the sniper to bleed out, that's right! He's still alive. Oh. 
visible. Huh? Well, it worked! <sighs> well, rip to that terrifying pyro. He's got time for a smoke break. <sighs> Never mind. Oh, wait, that's why. I get it now. <laughs> wait, you didn't do that on purpose? I thought for sure he did it on purpose. Oh! Straight up, I thought he did that on purpose. Well, <laughs> turns out he did not. Oh, the baseball! No! No more Minecraft on the TV, huh? That's a shame. <laughs> oh, another hell portal? Don't mind if I do. It's all connected. Even the door's opening. That was all him. Markiplier. Yeah, I'm still wondering what's on the table. Now's as good a time as any for him to sit and confess his sins. Sims? Sims. Sims! You know what I meant! <laughs> Hit video game, The Sims. Pyro Team Fortress 2 Fire Resistance. The Seven Deadly Sims! <laughs> oh, he's here to confess his Sims! Yes! Oh! Do no harm. Eyes 
reference to that weapon there. Oh. Medic has become Catholic. <laughs> This doesn't look fun. Looks like a room of test tubes. He's caught back up to them, the giant mob boss heavy. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Just, was that it there? I mean, every good movie has to have a Wilhelm scream. This is this is known. Automatically 10 out of 10. You're right. Medic has become a Oh! Lego Star Wars death sound. Ooh. Get a medic. What if I made a deal with the old man's brother? The war is their business, and mine is to drag it out for as long as humanly possible. That infernal, unholy contraption is my lifeline, Goldman. Might be your only way out. Oh, I've thought about 
found it surely uh, as a last resort, but if I can use it to disappear for a while, it's a chance I'll have to take. Oh, where am I calling snap. from? That's a stupid question. You know bloody hell where Joe, I am. I heard you've been kidnapped. What's going on? Kidnapped? I don't know anything about that. Listen very carefully, Goldman. I think there are people trying to kill me. And worse yet, I think this Valium is actually... Continue this call. Please deposit five cents. No oh, blast. <laughs> He's so British. <laughs> Citizen is so freaking British. Nah. You've come to save me. Have I? I have always been the one to save you, Archie. I did your dirty work and hid it from everyone. And look what it did to me. My God! Who is there to save me, Jules? <laughs> You've never cared about anyone but yourself, Coral. No! Please, for God's sake! Well, there's no one here to protect you now. But I, I've given you everything you wanted. And I'm giving you exactly what you deserve. Whoa! That was kick butt. Not gonna lie, that was actually awesome. Whoa! Oh my god. The assassins won. <laughs> Poor soldier. I mean, poor everyone. Like, everyone is suffering in this. I'm on? All right, fine. Hello again. If you're watching this, then I can say with complete certainty that you have survived respawn compatibility. Congratulations. If you're confused, allow me to explain. Before you were lawfully executed by the state, you signed a contract effectively donating your mortal remains to a medical trial. The good news is, you're not on death row anymore, since you're technically already dead. Which also means you are now company property. But fear not, as promised, you all have a new job waiting for you when you get out. You are now ten of the strongest mercenaries money can buy, and your sacrifice will reward you in time. I'll see you all on the other side. Oh, hell! <laughs> in front of the execution thing. Oh my god. Oh my god. So it was all convicts on death row that were put through the respawn trials, and the ten, uh, eventually nine that survived, were the mercs. Oh my god. Stop! Oh god, snipers caught up to him. You really wanna die for that fat bastard? Don't you wanna die for something worth dying for? Do you have any idea how long I've waited for this? Longer than you think. Which means the tenth that day of defeat soldier was the one who Oh Oh my god, you're right, that is Ah This is so well put together, what the heck? What took you so long? The sniper looks like Jeff the Killer now. <laughs> oh He's medic! He looks like Jeff the Killer though, doesn't he? Or is that just me? Dude, what happened? <laughs> See you on the other side.
Oh, he's called the Hunter. I see why. I 100% see why. Why did you come here? I was trying to save somebody. So was I. We shouldn't be here. You'll need to get out of here. I don't know how that's possible. Oh, hey. And this is pharmaceuticals. One eye's red again. What does that mean? Oh. Chapter six. Cut, cut a base, cut a basis, cut a. What is that word? Hold on, let me. What is is that a word? Let me Google that real quick, just so I'm informed if that's a thing. Oh, I can't spell. Cut a basis. No, I can't spell. Cut a basis. Oh! Wow, I've never heard of this word before, but it's great. It's a term that is applied to mythology and literature. It's described as a mytheme or trope in which the hero embarks on a journey to the underworld. By extension, it may be considered to be humorous, or it could also mean any journey downwards or fall. Oh boy! <laughs> ho ho! Ooh, so basically this chapter is titled A Journey to Hell. <laughs> Essentially. <laughs> that is freaking cool. Or we could just say that it means something to do with a cat. That probably would be more pleasant. But <laughs> knowing this movie, I have a feeling it's more about going to hell. <laughs> Hello, Doctor. <gasps> Ooh. Open it. I can't. I insist. It's not mine. Liar. Tell him how you got the case, Fritz. I stole it. Impossible. Forget this. Where is Archibald? Archibald is dead. Everything this man has told you is a lie. He killed him. And the boy. Huh? That's not true. What is true to you? Or you? Who ran away? I am the only sane man here. I took a bullet for you. I should have shot you myself. Jesus, Spy is losing it. You first. Spy has lost it. Oh, it's Russian roulette. Why are you playing Russian roulette, spy? That's such a bad idea! In any circumstance. You're gonna make it, Fritz. I know. No! Oh! <sighs> Goodbye. Come back to life. Come on, buddy. You did now it once. You, you can know do how it again. feels. You won. Go. And soldier, I'll see you at the funeral. Oh! He's gone. <laughs> Come back to life, medic. You did it before. You could do it again. Please. Please. <laughs> He better! I'm gonna be mad if he doesn't! Oh, thank god he has his rocket launcher. on the other end.
to the phone. No, the rocket launcher! Oh my god. That's a beautiful but terrifying shot. Oh my god, you know what this is? This is giving me some real Detroit Become Human vibes right now. With with Marcus in the 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 junkyard of the other androids. That is high key reminding me. Just like the part from Detroit Become Human! Who is driving that thing? Maybe that'll be his ticket out of here. Ah, the rocket launcher! Not gonna be fun. Ooh. At least it might drive him out of this awful place. Our true enemy has yet to reveal himself. Oh, hi, demo. Got his rocket launcher, he's good. <sighs> oh, wow! Oh, that okay, that's literally actually hell, isn't it? Shadowing on that from earlier. Oh my god, this movie's so good. <laughs> Don't mess up. Freaking lucky. Good God. Thank God for that. I would I would not be emotionally okay if something happened to Soldier. Yeah, it's a good thing he didn't let Demo keep the bottle. 
Oh, wonderful. Man-made horrors beyond my comprehension. My favorite. Here they come. in the car way back at the start of the movie! Oh my god! How is this film so good? How is this film so good? so badly Good. to tell all this stuff. Is there anything else you want to tell me? Governor Archibald's funeral's on Sunday. Wear black. You knew the zombie version of the Mafia Heavy was a nemesis reference to the way he said Bill or Sleep. Sure, Mr. Doe. I think your friend will pull through. Wait. Oh! My god! <laughs> Chapter 7. Blood Brothers. I'll give it to him. Catabasis was a very fitting name for that one. Extremely fitting. Glad you could make it, Detective. I'm sorry for your loss. I heard you two were very close. I 
read this. You can't take it away from me that fast. We regret to inform that Jules Archibald was killed following a confrontation with his kidnapper, discovered to be the chief medical advisor of Blue, Dr. Fritz Ludwig. Mr. Archibald was shot once by Dr. Ludwig before turning the gun on himself. Pause for effect! <laughs> they were forced to evacuate when a fire had consumed Conagher's slaughterhouse. We believe Dr. Ludwig became mentally unstable and committed several other murders before his death. Despite this, we are adamant that this cult will be brought to justice. It wasn't! Dr. Ludwig! It wasn't medic! It was spy! <laughs> oh, gosh. Follow the script. Ah, here he is. The man of the hour. You know who I am. No talk, man. Nice to finally meet you. Oh my god, Blue You know my friend Jules. Better than anyone. Fifty-eight years old. He was just a kid. Oh I met him in 1960, right after the election. He was going on and on. How do we get rid of the son of a bitch? Um, shall we find you a seat, Mr. Man? Oh, yes, yes. I, I need to sit down. <laughs> He's so hyper-realistic looking. <laughs> Funerals are an absolute waste of money. Like war? If I couldn't strike my brother down, I thought God would eventually do it for me. But I'm no closer to beating Redmond than I was a hundred years ago! Speak of the devil. Oh! And he shall appear. There he is! I thought I smelled something dead in here! I've just come to offer my condolences, Plutarch. Balderdash, what was my friend doing in your compound, Redmond? I don't know what you're talking about. He was like the brother I never had! You slaughtered him! Admit it! Gentlemen, we are here to honor the memory of Jules Archibald, and his loss, I'm sure, has come as a shock to all of us. Jules carried business lead for as long as I can remember, and though he's gone, we won't forget the sacrifices he made for this company. Of course, with the accolades out of the way, I'm sure you all want to know what happened. As you know, Jules was recently abducted from his home by some kind of underground cult. The rescue operation had gone awry. However, myself and my colleague managed to escape. Jules... died. Perhaps my colleague could explain what happened. The soldier gonna follow the script? I apologize. Jules Archibald was murdered. <sighs> By this man, formerly Dr. Fritz Ludwig, one of our own men, a schizophrenic psychopath and an addict of his own medicine. He also had an addiction for his own patients. This boy has been missing since Halloween night. His mother was found beheaded with a hacksaw. Is this really necessary? I am simply illustrating a point that this man was capable of kidnap and murder. How did we let this happen? Archibald is dead because we failed him. Did you kill him? I beg your pardon? Oh, did you kill the bastard or not? No. The coward took his own life. Unspeakable crimes. This unbridled act of cruelty against our own company will not go unpunished. So, in Archibald's death, and in accordance to his will, I will be taking his place as chairman of the board to end this treason and corruption once and for all. Whoa! 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 You! What? Oh! My God! Get me out of here! Oh my God! 
My God! Can't you go any faster? I'm flooring it, sir. The shooting at us. Run all the red lights. What are they good for anyway? Look out! <laughs> They're good for that. Help me. models for this like oh I hope they do that would be amazing hallucinated being at. Isn't it? It is! You look lost, stranger. I am. Where are you headed? I don't know. The nearest town's back the other way. That's not where I'm going. So where are you going? Do you have a phone? No. I think I'm going to be sick. Restrooms in the back. Yeah, this is like this really shows that he is a psychotic killer. Like, you don't get to see quite as much of that from medic in a lot of the stuff that people make, but this you can really see it. M 
Sorry, the door says M. I know it's for... <laughs> but still, M! The symbolism! Get this man a therapist. Possibly several therapists. Oh. 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 Yet they kept the Merc's personality so well for such an intense dramatic movie. God help me. That's not healthy. Don't do that. Don't do that. Yeah, no, for real, they deserve... Oh, not the tooth! You need that! You need that for chewing! They deserve, like, several saxies. They deserve, like, an Australian saxy. Full-on Australian saxy for this. Oh. It was a Mrs. Diaz of Ham all along. Oh my god, that's right! Scout talked about losing teeth! Ah! Wait, they're all made of- oh, I guess that makes sense. Well, they deserve a giant Australian saxy then. Uh. Oh my god, is that Jules Archibald? Are we ever gonna figure that out? What is in there? Is it a portal to hell? This is named Chad. Of course, his name is Chad. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> I'm speechless. I'm that. Oh my God. Yeah, and there's the continuing theme of Silent Night. Oh my god. Oh, the original soldier. Oh. And of course it ends with that picture. Oh. Oh, 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 that's where the thumbnail came from! I see now! I see now! I, 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 I'm, 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 I'm obsessed! I'm, I'm obsessed! That was literally a masterpiece! Oh my god! That was like, you, this is like something you would watch in a movie theater. This is like something that would get a wide theatrical release. And make millions. This is amazing. What the heck? Oh my god. That's... I'm... Oh, oh 
oh my god that was amazing jeez oh my god what a film what a film i feel psychologically changed by that movie wow the top comment on the vid is fun fact this movie was so good that a small company called valve decided to make a game based off it <laughs> Oh my god, is it? Yeah, there it is! Oh, I liked it earlier! Oh my god. This is what happens- This happens when you get 20 seconds to respawn! <laughs> oh my god. That was- that, that was just- Oh my god, that was amazing. I'm- in utter shock. That was... That's so freaking good! Wow. I don't know how many times I could say it, but... I mean, y'all saw it! That was amazing! That was amazing! I... <laughs> oh my god! I'm liking that. It is going right into my favorites. Immediately. <laughs> I am so looking forward to the in-depth analysis videos that are going to show up about this. Because... You can imagine, there's gonna be some, for sure. Oh my gosh. I'm just, I don't even know what to say. That was so good! I'm just gonna be repeating myself. I'm gonna be a broken record, but that was that was so good. That I just mm, the characters. All the mercs were in character, super in character. The writing amazing. The cinematography holy cow, freaking stunning. The scares it didn't rely on jump scares really, which is great. Genuinely. Genuinely one of my favorite movies now. I want to I want to look up. Okay, so the name Emesis Blue, I mean Emesis I assume is like Nemesis but without the Wait, Emesis meaning. Oh wait, the action or process of vomiting. That's what it is. So vomiting blue basically is what it means. <laughs> well, that makes sense. But at the same time, it could mean nemesis, because it's like emesis, nemesis, it's one letter off. You, I don't, I don't, uh, 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 you see, you see, that could be what it, uh. Oh, Lord. I'm just, I'm speechless. I'm so speechless. How? Are there already analyses of these? Well, someone five days ago did a live analysis stream of it. <laughs> Hold on. I... I looked up Emesis Blue on YouTube and this was one of the results. Screaming blue thing, my beloved. <laughs> you literally took the words right out of my mouth. Screaming blue thing, my beloved. I am obsessed with screaming blue thing. That is how my brain feels after watching that.
just Ah, oh. that's just, I'm just, I'm just, I'm flabbergasted. I'm so flabbergasted. Utterly flabbergasted. I just, I'm just, I just, I can't even think of what to say. I legitimately can't. Oh, I know. I know exactly what to do now. He. <laughs> he. You don't even know what to say. Your brain is blank. Mine too. Like, I'm, I'm completely, I'm like, my whole brain is absorbed in this now. Like, it's. I'm so shook. Oh, I like that I just looked up SFM and the first thing that comes up is Emesis Blue. That's good. That's good. Oh, wait, hold on. I watched this video the other day. <laughs> I'll put this one on again. This one is called SFM. They said we shouldn't do it by Misan. They said we couldn't do it. They said we shouldn't do it. They begged us not to do it. And we did it anyway. <laughs> they teleported bread. How to climb a tree? Hold on. How to climb a tree. Oh my god. I don't know if I've seen this one. This is How to Climb a Tree by Tipsy Duck. I don't know if I've seen this. Which is shocking. Hi, it's Tim and Kim and Jim. Here's a story that is rather grim. What's oh. to do for a party of three? What's that, Tim? Is to climb a tree. <laughs> Here they go! Firstly, find a tree that's up to play ball. That's too tall. That's too small. Put your leg on a branch. But be careful you don't hear a crunch. Because if hips and butts were candies and nuts, you're going to fall up and break your legs. <laughs> oh my god! Now, now, Kim, what did I say? Climbing a tree's far from child's play. This isn't a joke! You can clearly see the bone! That's probably not your funny bone, cuz... This shit ain't funny. <laughs> oh my god. Our mothers warned us about this, didn't they? Tim? They said, no climbing trees today, kids. Someone might get hurt. What did we do? We didn't listen. We are the ones to blame. What are you talking about? We have to help him! You're not thinking of the consequences. What would our fathers do if one of us came back with a broken leg? We could end up with one of our own, Jim. <laughs> oh my god. What are you suggesting then? Oh my god! Oh no. 
Have you ever put a dog down, Jim? <laughs> a three-legged puppy is not a happy puppy. D dude, I, I think I'm fine. The, the bone's healing. <laughs> I can, I can probably stand up. <laughs> oh my God! Well. <laughs> Jim, tonight we bond like lovers. <laughs> what do you mean? What do you mean? <laughs> oh my god! If anyone asks, you tell them it was an accident. Tim, this is Jim, and we never knew anyone named Kim. <laughs> oh my god! What the heck? Oh! My god! <laughs> got an egg on your cake? Oh, what the? Tipsy Duck also made a video called Funny, and it's just as weird. Hold on. Oh, this is- This is the dude- This is the dude who made the employee- The Manco employee training video. I've seen that. Hold on, let me see if I can find funny. It's just called a funny? A funny? Oh, I guess this must be out. Or this must be it. Hold on, hold on. I'm funny. A funny human being. Yeah? A funny song. Uh-huh. A funny picture. A funny day. <laughs> a funny movie. Is that they're just like us. They eat, they talk, they make friends. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh, god. Eat, oh, god. Walk, Medic run. <laughs> A funny dog. What? A funny fact. Knock <laughs> knock. Who's there? A funny joke. A funny show. <laughs> a funny feeling. A funny tragedy. A funny emotion. A no! funny twist. A funny murder. <laughs> a funny can. You're funny. Oh my god! <laughs> I. <laughs> I'm. <laughs> wow. Well? Oh boy, 3 a.m. Are you up at 3 a.m.? Heavy, you got stuff to do tomorrow. You gotta go to bed. <laughs> Alright, well I probably need to end stream anyways. Yeah, the SFM rabbit hole goes really, really deep. Alrighty. Let me see. For now, uh, I'll raid Scorpy. Sure. <laughs> that was super duper fun, though. Thanks, everyone, for watching that with me. That was a hecking experience I will never forget. I'm obsessed with that movie. Utterly obsessed with that movie. Ha <laughs>
I'm like, I'm I'm gonna be rotating this whole film in my mind for like weeks to come. <laughs> You're playing super liminal and you found blood on the floor. That's concerning. You mean blood on the floor? Like there was blood on the floor at many points during Emesis Blue. <laughs> Oh, I'm just going to be rotating and rotating it in my mind endlessly. Oh, I'm going to like, oh my god. I want to like write a deep analysis of all the cinematography in it. I'm... I'm... My brain is just so... My brain is just so much right now. My brain does a tired and it thinks many things, but it can't do a good talk about it. <laughs> If you understand my meaning. Anyhow, I will probably go and lay down and think deeply about that film for the next few hours. Good night! <laughs>